Okay, so I guess I forgot to do an intro for this video, but yeah guys, we're going to be testing out the Curie today with the Liming and Fengbao weapons. Yeah, the new event's coming, um, my video on it should be out today, here are the modules that I'm using for this build, and here are the pilot skills. We're also using the, what's it called, Pascal drone, because that's the one that came out with the Curie and the one that makes it OP, so let's drop in some games and test this build. Oh, okay guys, so we have dropped in on moon map. We'll go ahead and start off with the Curie first. I do think maps like moon, where it forces you into like combat in a tunnel or something is really going to help with this build. Because I don't think, I know a lot of people will be saying, oh yeah, this build's OP. But like, the 100 meter range is really limiting, so I might just rush them. This probably won't end well. But we can see what happens. Yeah, see, I'm going to get blinded, but it doesn't really matter. Because, oh, we can get this guy. Nice, we got him. See, look, we need to stay really close to them. Double kill, nice. We're literally just stopping them from getting their home beacons. Let's go ahead and get it. There we go. This guy's dead. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to be careful here. This is actually turning out alright. We can get... Oh, look at this. Oh! He's dead. Godlike. Beyond godlike. Okay. A minute into the game. Before I was playing this a lot more... Oh, oh, come on. Thing is, a Shenlu versus a Kiri, the Kiri usually wins. Yep, he's dead, living legend. I've... Oh my gosh, okay. I've been playing this... Look! I've been playing this build wrong. I was, like, being really careful with it because of the range. I guess you're meant to just run into their spawn and kill them all. Look! This is insane! We can easily get this dagger as well. Got him. An invader. The guy with the bomb effect is going to steal that. Yep, there we go. Should we go into their spawn? Okay, this might be a bad idea. Oh, thank you for literally pushing me towards them. They have a birch. What's going on? This is crazy. I wonder if we can get close enough to get that guy. We'll finish off the angler first. He has shotguns. This has been a crazy game. Oh, come on. Living legend. Oh, this guy's still alive. Not for long. Bye. I've got so many living legends. I won't be able to do anything against titans. That's the game already. That's got to be the shortest game I've ever played. One epic finish there. I got shot across the map in phase shift. How did that do so well? I was genuinely thinking that build wasn't that good. But like, yeah, it doesn't usually last the whole game. But I guess it did there because it was a short game. 14 kills. Look, nobody else did anything there. I can't lie. That made me feel very like a pay to win player. Uh, running that build. We'll take a look at the honor points right here. There we go. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. I wasn't expecting that game to end so quick. So let's drop into another one. Okay, so we have dropped in on Valley Map. This could be a good map because it has those tunnels. We literally have a subduer behemoth. That's going to be a bit OP. I wonder how good that will be against the Ochikochi now. Probably really good. Right, what have we got here? Someone that's scared of me. We've got an Ochikochi. Oh, it's a Kiri. He's got glories. Oh, I couldn't lock him down. See, that's what I mean. If you're even one meter out of that 100 meter range, this build is completely useless. Get out of my way. Can you not see that they're going to this beacon? The Lynx is a free kill with this. Okay, that guy might be a problem. The Lynx is always a free kill with these weapons. Oh, he's got phase shift. I have phase shift though, so that's lucky. And he has his ability again, really? Look how much corrosion damage we did to him. Um, it's lagging. Can we get the kill? Maybe? Yes, there we go, double kill. I think we should head back to center. And see what's going on. Another Curie. We're absolutely destroying him, though. 
Look how many times they heal. Okay, so we'll use the orbital strike on him. I'm going to try and go for that center. Ah! There's literally another one! I think I might die. Can we get him? Oh, we got him. Now we need this guy too. Come on. Oh, come on. He has his ability. I do need to back off a bit here. Damn, scent is actually like intense right now. This guy's done for. I don't know why he pushed me, but okay. Rampage. Is that a Dagon? We can get him. Oh, godlike. Let's finish off him. Beyond godlike. Okay, we need to be careful here because I need to be in a 100 meter range. Am I going to die to this stupid keel? I actually might. Nah, we're fine. Right, can we get another Ochikochi? Let's use the phase shift. See, I need to push him because I need to get close enough to use my weapons. Come on! I just need that living legend. Oh, he's pushed me into the open. I might be dead. I think I'm dead. Come on! I'm on reload. Can we get my ability? No! I could have gone on for so much longer if my ability had just recharged there. That's so unlucky. It's not a bad build, but it's just limited to like a very, very few mats. Obviously, if you drop that in on Yamantau, you die in two seconds. But still, it's a really good build. Right, let's see if we can finish off this game here. Oh, they have an Eiffel! Yeah, he's gonna get deleted. Unless he blinds me, but I don't think he will. He won't even have enough time. There we go. How? Who stole that? What the heck? See, that's just ridiculous how that got stolen. Okay, this is good. How am I actually taking damage? I think I got hit with the the subduers or something. Because I can't heal. There we go. Back to a million health. I think my repair amp just kicked in. There's a bunch of them there, so we'll launch the orbital strike. That's a free kill. What is going on? Okay. Oh, look at the damage. We somehow killed the scorpion. Literally just with our, like, normal weapons. I'm... Are you serious right now? That guy literally waited so long so he could fire his long shot. And stole the kill. Bro! Oh my, look at the corrosion. That is insane. That injury is starting to really annoy me. I think I'm going to go for him. What is that? Is that the angler? No, that's a Curie. Right, we'll get the Curie. Bye. Right, he's gone. He'll have about 10 transcendences loaded up. Yeah, we probably won't be able to get him. They have a Luchador. How is this game still going? He's going to be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Titan Slayer. They just dropped a Lynx. Why are they all in stealth? What is that? Oh, they have a Loki. That's annoying. I don't even have my Dagon either to, like, drop in to kill it. That's really annoying. Oh, come on! Yeah, he's done now, surely. Oh, how's he got stealth again? That was ridiculous. I'm just going to stand on the other beacons because... Has they got another one? Oh, it's a crisis. I wonder if we can get him. If we stand on the beacons, they've got like a tiny bit of the beacon bar left anyway. Oh, well. That was a good game. We survived for a decent amount of time in center with that Curie. How many other Curies did we kill? Was it like three? I feel like we got a lot there. That was pretty good. 11.9 million damage, 14 kills. There we go. And we were against some duo as well. So, yeah. Here are the honor points for that game. Uh, there we go. But, yeah, that build, it's all right. I, it's all right. Okay, guys. So, let me know in the comments what you thought of that build. I definitely prefer the subduers. But, obviously, this build will be good once they get nerfed. Because we all know what's going to happen to them. But, anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.